Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this one, I'm going to give you the what are the top five settings you need to change in the iPhone Year 7 Pro after the quick unboxing. So this is a question, friends, which I used to get from plenty of my subscribers, like what are the few settings you need to change so before you start using the phone. So this is the most important thing which you should definitely know about. So if this is the first time you're watching this channel, so please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. So let's get started with the first thing you need to change, which is the notification panel when you try to pull down. So by default, it will try to uh, open the search bar, as you can see, friends, when you try to pull it down. So I'll I'll definitely get kind of frustration when you try to uh, pull down and I get the search bar. So that's the first settings which I change in most of the smartphones. So which if you try to long press on the home screen, it will try to take to the settings and rare try to click on the swipe downwards on the home screen. So now you will get the access to the notification panel. That's the first thing which I change uh, in the Iconeo 7 Pro. And next thing which I do regularly is regarding the battery percentage so i always want to keep an eye on the battery percentage how much it is in the device so instead of having the physical uh, bar so if you try to see the number that will give the clear idea like how much battery you do have in your de device that's the second setting which i change uh, in most of the smartphones and even in the iconeo 7 pro and third setting which is regarding the aptic feedback so this is another thing most of the users they do uh, neglect but this is uh, another thing which will definitely give you the premium kind of experience so definitely guys try to change the haptic feedback and you will definitely feel a lot of difference while using the device so uh, by default it will come with a medium but i'll try to prefer with the high because the iq phones they do have really very strong haptic feedback and those uh, type of haptic feedback will give you the app like premium kind of experience while you're typing or maybe while gaming so try to change the haptic feedback intensity that's another thing which i usually change and next thing is regarding the system navigation bar buttons so by default uh, when you're trying to setting the mobile when you first time when you try to set the mobile it will ask for the full screen or the on screen buttons so there you can actually have the option to change but if you want to try to change again you need to go to the settings and system navigation there you do have the option of full screen gestures or three buttons and you can select the different different uh, positions as well and different icon styles also as you can see friends you do have plenty of options here so these are the few things which you need to change and the final thing which i'll recommend for subscribers like most of the users to change is regarding the refresh rate so let me go to the display and there by default it comes with a smart switch so which is automatically uh, changing the refresh rate from 60 to 120 years so i'll not for everyone maybe if you want to have that kind of smooth experience so try to change to 120 hertz for all and there's option which is also available for apps running at high refresh rate if you want you can select other uh, like which the applications which you use you can select uh, for them to run forcefully at 120 hertz refresh rate as well so that's also possible in this device so these are the top five settings which i'll definitely recommend you guys to change if you try to buy the iconia 7 pro meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching a state of more updates and bye